everybody this is John and today as you can see I have Windows 8 and today I will make this look almost exactly like Windows 7 and by almost exactly I mean I will take this thing to the absolute extreme in terms of customization so the most obvious thing that is missing are desktop gadgets and we will start with the installation yes pretty good then we will go to classic msconfig so uh, the link will be in the description mm. yes this is the classic msconfig then we will go to old new explorer hmm I will configure this later. Let's see. This. I think it is done and. Yep. Here's. This is getting close to the Windows 7 one mm. yes here are a few more tweaks because I like the menu bar okay obviously it is Gray then. Hmm. Okay, I will sign out to. I don't know, maybe confirm everything. Okay. So. I think this is the closest we can get to. Um, okay, so this is the closest we can get to Windows 7. Um, unfortunately, this won't be glass. I do think there there is something wrong here because I did tap enable glass here and all of this is enabled. But anyway, Let's continue with open shell. Yes. Couldn't care really about IE anyway. Um, anything more? Yes, so all right. Is it all done? Yes. It is, so we can unpin our previously set apps. Okay, so let's start fiddling with this. Um, 
this is Windows 7 style. Um, we will choose a custom button, which is on the desktop. Yes, this is really Windows 7. Mm, I will remove this. By the way, is the normal start is now hidden. Only Shift plus Win enables it. Okay, this is all right. Um, slight mistake. Yes. Okay. The taskbar, I have a note on it. Um, is it transparent yet? Yes. We will customize it with these settings. Okay, I'm not entirely sure this is the way it has to be because I usually use the basic theme on Windows 7 but anyway um yes this is um you might want to disable this yes Yes, no more active corners. What is this? Not sure. Mm, now you can customize this. Um, okay, the context menu. Is it this? Okay. Hmm. Okay. Not sure what I did exactly. Mm. Okay. I'm not really sure what those settings actually do. Yeah, okay. This is what I did, yes. Um. Okay, I think we won't use this anyway, as it wasn't in Windows 7. Anyway, we don't need any of these sounds. We will fix that. Yes, this is alright. Left click, yes, this is everything. Mm. Okay, this is, these are, we don't really need all of this. Um, yes, this is not good enough there is more to it um, we will fix this later yes 
yes, this is better. Mm. Oh. No, it's small font. Reduce glass color. No. White submenus. Yes, white is better. Anyway, there are a few more to try out. Yes, I think the Windows arrow is best. Yes, of course, it's actually written there. Okay, I like this enough, although there are some more skins worth trying. You can modify these in Classic Shell. But I do think this is good enough. You can change the account picture if you want to. What is the next thing? Classic Task Manager. And let's see. Yes, it's done. Okay, so now the task manager is the old one. Yes. Uh, by the way, the MS config, except this stupid prompt is also alright. I can disable user account control. Okay, these are the Windows 7 games we will install now. I will... I think I said I will add the links in the description. Did it finish now? Did it finish? Not really sh sure. No, this I think didn't work. What happened here? Not really sure. Ah, so I have to. What? Run it again, maybe? Whatever. Yes, it had it here. I will fix the games, it's just that. Yeah, aha, finally. Okay, all of this maybe? I'm just gonna show it again. I didn't know it was going to be so slow and so funny anyway. Mm. Yes, here are the games. What is this game explorer? Yes, this is... Anyway, here's a demo to see. So yes, they did actually work and now this is really funny how I forgot the most important thing. Yes, this this looks pretty much alright unless it is a little pixelated well now I will have to fix that in control panel um it's personalization here yes in the old days when personalization was actually no this is bad Okay, well, obviously, it doesn't really like my display here. Anyway, it's the user tile, okay, this is, by the way, Windows arrow, because the window borders are still... Okay, I made a mistake with the installation, I will get to it later. This is the... Um, oh, 
Oh, it created shortcuts. Okay, and the last thing I want to do is customize our god, which will change the interface of the whole thing. Okay, it is... This program is pretty buggy, by the way. I'm not really sure what it wants now. Mm. Yes, as you can see, it is terrible right now. Um, but this actually changes the icons for example, here's the network icon. It's going to change it to the Windows 7 style one. Mm, obviously, I cannot get to this. So, I will change my user tile now. Okay, so I set the account picture and found the correct arrow glass why does it okay mm. why not yes okay let's go Okay, so this didn't actually work. Um, as you can see, there isn't any transparency. But, have in mind that I'm doing this on Windows 8.0 and not on 8.1. I guarantee that on 8.1, this is going to work. And also customize our god. So, if you are using Windows 8, update to Windows 8.1 to be able to transform. But anyway, I do think that, apart from the metro borders, it does look pretty much like Windows 7. You have the wallpaper, the gadgets, yes. I do think it pretty much looks like Windows 7, even though it is Windows 8. So that's it. Be sure to subscribe, of course, and I will see you in the next video.